Hi friend, today I wanted to talk through all of the things that have really made my month. Um, different things like obviously fashion, uh, but also because I am new in my house and like trying to work through my routines, it's such a win whenever I can find something that really works for me. And so I wanted to sort of like talk through the highlights of this month, um, both on the things that I've purchased and some things that I've just loved and appreciated for this month. So yeah. Um, let's get started. The first new thing was trying the brand Emerson Fry. It hasn't been a brand that I've tried before and so when I first put on this one piece, which was a dress, um, I just fell in love because it was drapey and even though it was very loose, it didn't like hide my proportions or anything. I felt like it was the perfect summer dress and I loved the little wooden buttons that were down it. Um, everything about it was just very charming and so for me that was just amazing. I loved the material having that like linen material was wonderful um, and it came with a belt but I just again liked that it was loose and flowy so I plan to live in that as long as the weather gets warmer in July and August so yeah you'll definitely be seeing me wear that a lot as for shoes, you might have seen me wear my clogs by Nisolo. I felt like they were the most comfortable shoe and so I got them in a white color as well, which is really like a blush ivory if you look closely. And I like that it has the staples that are on the edges there. It's just a very raw look and I really appreciate the light wood um, and everything about the clog was just so comfortable. And then it's got so much height to it as well. So it's got like memory foam inside the the straps of the leather are very comfortable to wear they don't like rub or dig in at all and they go with a lot of different things because they are like a casual shoe that can also be dressed up something that's not new in but that I've really appreciated this month have been my hats by Janessa Leon I got them last year and wearing them this year again just felt like such a treasure to be able to wear them because there is so much detail that is put into the craftsmanship of this and you know that I'm a sucker for that like with the Nisolo shoes like I love the story behind who is making it and anything that is artisan is really precious to me um, but the way that Janessa Leone designs her hats have that smolder effect that some hats carry they never look silly even though some of them are very unique designs um, and and obviously just having a Panama hat is wonderful to be able to just have something that is summery and works I think for anybody's style if you're new to the hat world um, I would definitely recommend a Panama hat one more thing I want to highlight as far as personal style is concerned for this month were these bags that I got by Pelen um, as usual Pelen gives me these bags and I never turn them down because their bags are so unique and again artisan quality everything that I'm looking for in a bag um, so I asked for this one which is the Plen Un Mini in chalk and then I also asked for this one which is their ninth bag um, that is black and that's a mini as well because I have the bigger version of the black one and I have that in the chalk color so having the bigger version in a lighter color sort of fades it away if you want a bigger bag but if you want something that is a smaller bag um, that is black then that still is going to be great for summertime i think a lot of people are shy about getting black bags for summer just because it's one more thing to draw in the heat um, and it's not quite as like airy feeling but this one definitely is because of its small size this one picked up so many compliments by the way i was just sitting at the bank and all of the bank tellers were like oh my gosh that bag is amazing where did you get it and I think it's just because there's never a bag out there that has this much sculptural qualities to it uh, which is lovely and then also I was having drinks with my neighbor that lives across the street and she had a pull-in bag and I was like oh my goodness like where like tell me the story where did you get that and why did you choose that color and she was in Paris and she and her friends all went into the Pelen store and actually like purchased the bags and just like had a great time. And so it was just a, a talking point for us to be like, 
I don't know, we both just bonded over <laughs> these bags. I have one item to show you for the beauty category this month. Um, you might have seen my makeup bag video if you want like the full details of everything, but this product actually made me switch some of those things that I just featured in that video. Um, so this is a skin support product. Um, it's for face and body, and it's a spray that is by Ion. Um, this is by Dr. Bush and he is a family doctor of sorts and has absolutely transformed the health of me and some other family members. Uh, so I really trust him as far as what he says and a lot of it goes above my head, honestly. But the basic thought here is that he has found an ancient soil that really impacts the microbiome and so he works with that on products for the gut and so Zach and I take that like every day. And this is his new skin product which really is the same as the gut product only it has some other minerals in it as well and the great thing about this is that when he looked under the microscope and saw what skin cells do and how they react to the same soil, it's like an ancient soil, it's very healing and so it can heal dark spots. Um, there's a lot more that his web Website goes into and I watched this whole webinar about it with Elle McPherson and it was just really informative to me and I I have really enjoyed it because I've been out at my pool a lot and so just adding that extra hydration and also the nutrients um, onto my skin I haven't burned it's been kind of remarkable because even when I've been putting on tons of sunscreen at the beginning of summer I would burn and burn and burn and now that I've been using this, I've been able to actually not burn and create a nice tan, but also like I haven't had um, as many of the dark spots or freckles that have happened, which is just so weird because ever since I've been in my late 20s and in my 30s, I've been freckling a lot and now I really don't have that. So I'll um, just leave you a link down in the description. You can do your own research, but that has been so remarkable to me to find out about that skin health. If you've not seen a couple of my recent videos, Zach and I moved and we're first time homeowners and we have an old house. And so there's like so many things that we want to do to our house already. And obviously you have to sort of pace yourself and do things one at a time and also realize like, you want to be careful with your money. You don't want to like spend it all <laughs> up front on everything and then realize that you would have done it differently had you waited and had the patience for that. Um, that's a whole video in itself. I could go into about a rant about that. Um, but Zach and I are really enjoying our new space and we're loving outside by the way, and I'll get to that in a little bit, but just having some interior design books to start with has been incredible. And we've actually owned these for like, six months to a year, but I wanted to show them because they've been impactful right now, uh, which you've probably seen this book because I feel like everybody has this book. It's by Athena Calderon and it's Live Beautiful. You can tell it's very loved. I've got bookmarks all through it. Um, it's just uh, something that I think you'll really appreciate if you like clean modern designs, but also having that like like masculine and feminine dynamic in a house. And I think that that's really good because I personally, when Zach's living in this house too, I don't want everything to be super feminine and I don't want everything to be super masculine, although I think I would feel okay in that as well. Um, and I really like Athena's taste and all of the houses that she's toured have been so unique and incredible. So. Definitely want to recommend that book. I also wanted to recommend Jenny Kane's book, Pacific Natural at Home. Um, so that one has much more of a, a beach vibe and I feel like Jenny Kane, her taste in, in general is just something that is very light um, and raw and maybe just a little bit rustic, but very, very neutral. And when talking about her clothing line, I think that a lot of the pieces that I own and wear are comfortable and you're able to live in them and it's something that's always a luxury fabric and so you know I those are all of the things that are on my checklist when I'm shopping and again I just loved her book um, and I've been flipping through it and bookmarking it and everything is peaceful in it. I think that when we first were thinking through what we want to do in our house we wanted something that would be maybe a bit more 
um, not traditional, but just something that you would see in a lovely English home. Um, and we, we went down this whole rabbit trail of like different things that we would love. And then we're sort of taking that and adapting it to this other style that we really, really love between Athena Caldron and Jenny Kane. Um, but just having these books of inspiration, I think is better than only going by Pinterest because you can bookmark things and you can get a feel more so when it's in front of you in a book than if it's just on a screen. So yeah, for now, interior design, we're really just trying to research and get an idea for taste and come up with sort of concepts of what we want to do first and what we want to tackle. And so in the meantime, we've been putting our focus on outside. And for our anniversary, Zach planted me a ton of hydrangeas and his dad came and helped him do all of this and like dug through all of the clay dirt that is here in Virginia. Um, to do that and we're so happy with all the hydrangeas. Hydrangeas were in my bouquet so it was really special to have that and also we wanted to get all of our perennial plants growing because they're going to be here for years and we want them to grow big. So we went ahead and we decided to do our landscaping first and we've been loving that because we've been spending most of our time outside. Um, and so just to be able to have these beautiful like grasses and Zach like He's such an engineer. He planned out the entire garden like foot by foot. He put down drip lines around everything to make sure that they wouldn't die. <laughs> and then he just crafted this beautiful vision. And so it's been so amazing to see that go from his plans like in a sketchbook to now having it living like to be able to just walk in it has been so cool so yeah the focus that we had was around the pool because we wanted to add privacy there so in a year or two it's going to be completely private and just have all these lovely plants around it i think that long term we'd love to have a significant really cool like lighting display outside too so that we could spend a little bit more time at our pool and like out in our yard at night. But for now, what we wanted to do is just have a quick fix of having some cafe lights. And so we have this fence and we decided to just string those up along um, the fence line around the pool and just having little, you know, incandescent areas <laughs> around our pool has been so romantic and cozy. I don't know about you, but on YouTube, I always am typing in ambiance videos like nighttime ambiance or cafe ambiance or bakery or something so I can just feel like super at peace. And I've been trying to actually be intentional about that in my real life to make sure that I feel cozy and that um, my setting feels very like calming. So yeah, that's <laughs> a whole nother tangent. I could definitely link you to some of the videos on YouTube that I watch. Um, like when I'm going to bed or when I'm waking up too. By the way, at the park, there is this lovely little wind chime that people can take these little rods and like play them like an instrument and it's so charming. So what I decided to do is for my birthday, I asked for wind chimes that have that low sound. Um, so not like the tingy wind chimes, but something that is again, very calming. And so that's what I chose to do for that. Um, just something that I could have whenever the wind would sort of blow, I would be able to have this very like dulcet tone um, that would again, bring that ambiance for my outdoor setting. Lastly, I have to talk about my favorite show that's on TV right now. It's called Spring Watch on BBC. I watch Spring Watch, Autumn Watch, and Winter Watch, and it's only around for like two to three weeks every season, and then it's gone, and I have to wait and wait for it to come back on. And I just, like, if you know what Spring Watch is, write it in the comments, because I am so desperate to find somebody who else who knows what this show is. Uh, but I love it so much. I got into it around the pandemic when they started to create not only these beautiful nature shows, but inside it, they create these like 90 second segments where you just watch nature and it was just so healing for me then and they still do that now but they are so funny because I feel like a lot of nature shows get really stiff and just like not personal and then it's like when they start to show these weird things in nature they're not they don't like break 
the personality at all and then it's weird <laughs> but this show does like they totally acknowledge that nature is weird sometimes and it's funny and there are all of these little personalities in nature that you can really enjoy and so I just have loved this show so much and I love all of the hosts and they're so hilarious I don't know I just love that show and I just couldn't get over how much, I, I mean, Zach and I watch it like every night on repeat and we watch it over and over and over again. So I had to bring it up because I am so thrilled to have this new season to watch and all of the like live cams that they have of these little families and their journeys that you get to watch for a couple weeks. So yeah, those were the things that really brought me a lot of joy in the month of June. I can't believe that we're already this far into 2022, but at the same time, I'm like really looking forward to all of the seasons that are coming up. Like while I'm enjoying summer, I still really am excited for autumn and just all of the cozy things that are gonna happen then. Um, so yeah, I guess there's a lot more to share soon and I will see you in the next video. Bye.